Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie. Hey, ladies. You know what I don't have? I do not have. Oh, I do have right here my spectacles. They're spectacles now because, look, I only got one side. I know. I know. I'm a, they're my favorite. I'm going to get them fixed. And they are dusty. Why? Why? I can't see. So, uh, hey, ladies. I am on my deck. I am on my beautiful Afrocentric deck and I wanted to bring y'all along with me while y'all could hear me and I got a little natural light on my face so I think that'll be helpful because my own computer but uh but I got a video that I'm uploading now for y'all that is a new family member it is called the lemongrass that's lemongrass you can use it to make tea if you have problems getting to sleep at night suffering from insomnia and those names and that such and such that tea just take a cut piece of the leaf off, add it to hot water or boiled water, and literally drink it. If you want to add honey or maple syrup or any of those things, you can do that. But it, it's a sleep aid like nothing. Else. I mean, I know they talk about chamomile, lemongrass, and it grows plentiful, wild, without a lot of care. That's why I got it. Cause and yes, and so so greens. You know that is the. Uh, organization, the company that I work with, I would like say for, because I highly recommend them. They have organic vegetables, fruits and vegetables. And they work with other farmers that grow them and they have a list and you get on the Facebook, I'm sorry, a WhatsApp group. And then you, the, every week they send you what they have for sale. And they also, like I said, work with other, uh, I'm gonna say business owners, vendors. So you can get like frozen desserts or you know, little other things, but really they're they to have their fruits and vegetables. Excellent, excellent service. The food is delicious. They have their seasons where they grow and don't grow. So they had a lot of kale. So now I can't get any kale because it's out of their season, but it's always something new. It's, just, it's life, it's nature and you'll love it. So, but they also sell seedlings, y'all. They sell seedlings, they sell seedlings. And that means that I could, some of the foods like the kale, they actually actually sell the kale plant. So I could try to grow my own kale. I'm leery about food on the balcony <laughs> because, you know, I'm leery about attracting pests. And yes, they do have, uh, they do have natural pesticides that they sell too. Like neem oil is great for uh, preventing those pests from eating your foods but not harming the environment and really, you know, not necessarily taking them out in pain, okay? They'll just basically, naturally, they don't like the smell or they don't like the age and they don't like the vibration. They don't like what it emits. I mean, it's on so many levels and it keeps them away, but I think I'm gonna start off slow. So the lemongrass, I have an aloe vera plant over here as well. The aloe vera plant is in the corner. There she is. So I have her too, or him, depends on how I feel. Um, so yeah, so I want medicinal plants, herbs. Uh, I got a whole nother deck, not as big as this one, but I'm, I'm gonna be growing all um, culinary herbs, if you will, medicinal, of course, as well. So the rosemary, the sage, I actually wanna grow the lavender, everything I use for my hair, the rosemary, the sage, and the lavender. I want to grow those, but I'm also going to be growing like spearmint, pearmint, uh, peppermint, it should be like, so it's just, I'm feeling it. So that stuff I can eat and use and they, and, and so green has all of those things. So I got a lot of remaining pots, but I got so many balconies because of the three places and six balconies. The, the, anything in the in my first one that, you know, the one that's my boutique, I, I got to have sturdy plants because there's a lot of construction still going on. It gets kind of dirty. So, but here, you know, I, I, what I don't want to do in this deck is fill it up too much where it's being more things than people. Like I want to be able to do on this deck, y'all. I mean, you can't see the whole side. That's just one side and I'm over here and it's this other side. So it's a nice size deck is I want to be able to have a sister brunch. Like that is what I want to be reporting to y'all next. Like we're going to get ready for and everything. I want to have a sister brunch. Uh, sister brunch, um, a housewarming, you know what I'm saying? We can put it on a housewarming list, a sister's brunch, but a gathering of sisters and I want us to be outside. So in order for this to be, to, I, and so I see that we have to have a bigger table something that can at least sit four, at least sit four of us, including me. So including me, so three others. That's nice out here. 
at least three, including myself. You know what I'm saying? And so, and then like things I will need with the bar cart just to, or something like the LB made of cane or something more natural. You know what I'm saying, ladies? But yeah, I want to entertain. I want to entertain. I want to entertain. This, y'all, y'all, this reminds me of the place that my daughter was born on Euclid Avenue in Oakland, California. This the whole, this reminds me of those days back when I first started doing videos. I first started in Oakland, California, in the one bedroom with the canopy in the back. I had the bed because I had to make that living room. It was a living room. My daughter had the bedroom. I had to make the living room a living room. And then I had to put that to feel like it was a bedroom, you know. And I did that for 16 years. <laughs> so, but the magic that I made, made on that balcony, I say balconies are magical, like balconies, decks, patios, verandas, backyards, outdoor space, anything where you could live in your house but still be outside. That's the bomb. That's for me. Like that's that's how I roll. Like I wanna, I wanna be sometimes to myself, but I still wanna be outside. Your balcony allows you to do it. It's an extra room, and it could be your very special. If you like to talk about the man cave or the girl she shed or whatever. Like if you really think there's nothing wrong with that, I think that's cool. Like to have a call whatever name you want, but that place could be your sanctuary. It's another room. It could be your place where you escape. It could be your she shed, your goddess shed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's magical. It's magical. You can grow your herbs, you can grow your plants, you can talk to them. They'd be familiar with you, you're familiar with them. It'd be beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So I just love balconies. And I feel like for me, the pictures, the videos, all of that that's coming. I know I'm probably, I'm sure I'm on, okay, I'm on Afrocentric. I mean, I'm on Blackberry Beauty, but the channel will be very much about the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm about to get, y'all, I'm about to put that calabash lamp, the calabash lamp, the one with the fish, the one with the fish, that one that's on the ground, but it's still a standing fan, fish one, of the aquarium, you know, because it's the aquarium. And there's a, there's a socket right there, and I'm going to plug it in. And it's going to look so beautiful at night. Like, that'd be my fish tank. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's going to be gorgeous. And then I'm looking, like I said, I'm looking for a water feature. Because once that water feature come along, OMG, OMG, like the water going, a Sunday afternoon, like, OMG. Like, and, like, even having my computer on my table when I'm outside. So outdoor spaces, if you are blessed to have one, manifest one. Okay, if you don't have one. Take my word for it. Manifest one because it is, it's, it's, it's a woman. I don't know. It feels like a woman's space to me. So I mopped, I swept, I mopped, I repotted. So that's always a spiritual thing. I did it out here and I'll be doing as many as I can out here and I'll do some with you because, like I said, it reminds me of Euclid. This is the stuff I used to do. Well, this is when I had very little money. Yeah, I was single. I was on a queen of fools, single woman journey. So I was going with them, getting up at four, doing fasts and meditations and all these other things. That's how you met me. I was overall, you know, I was vegan for a while already, but I was not at that point raw. And uh, I discovered so many parts of myself out here. So I'm going to go today and look for a lounge chair but not for this balcony, for the one in the bedroom. And the one in the bedroom is going to be grown herbs. And then I want a little lounge here because I could go to sleep out here. Like, these are covered, which is very nice. So they're covered. Take my word that I'll show you another night. It's got it a cover. So even the rain don't really hit the chairs, I've noticed. And, you know, you got shade. You're, you're protected, excuse me. You're protected from the shade as well. So, I mean, from the sun. So. It's dope. I mean, it's dope. I think I'm a little lopsided because the table's lopsided. The balcony might be lopsided. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, I I love it. So balcony stuff, like balcony is a room. That outdoor space is your possibility of your getaway. You know, I was thinking about, like, the way I'm creating this balcony and actually my whole space, right? I was thinking that it's like for a vacation. I don't want my house to feel like I work from home because for those that are just starting new to working from home, 
oh my God, it is the greatest thing ever. And you'll love it forever. You'll never probably want to do anything differently except create real spaces to close down your personal life and open up your business life and vice versa. I just want this place to be a sanctuary. That is it. If I was at it, I put the word right there, sanctuary. Because that to me, it's got to be a place where it's just you do create or you make love or you sleep well or you entertain, but it is your sanctuary, your self-expressive place, you know. Uh, it works for me. And then having the studio be my workplace is so much better for me. I, I, I need that. You know, all aspects of me. So this is my divine feminine energy. I feel like you're home. You have to be careful about who, what you let into your home, including your own funky attitudes, okay? Like, you got to, especially like other people, your home. I, I, you should. Like, Queen of was first time I ever heard, I want to say it was a sacred woman, but I might even heard it in the heal thyself. But she told about how you should refer to your home. Instead of just saying, I'm going home, say things like, I'm going to my temple, I'm going to my ashram, my sanctuary, my whatever it is for you, my synagogue, depending on who you are, whoever, whatever that is, you know, it is for you. I call it my sanctuary. And when you put that title, yo, when you put that title on it, and then you just realize that, okay, if that, that, title even came. Thank you for the thumbs up. You can continue to do that. I know you're here. That title goes with what it has it's supposed to be treated. Certain things that go, that's not going to be happening at least in public in the church. So there's certain, so there's certain things that's not going to be happening in your space. And when you give it that powerful name, thank you for the thumbs up. I know you're here. When you give it that powerful name, it just... Like I would say, I don't even want nobody using my bathroom. It's like this whole... At some point, look, I guess it's like some of us got to get three apartments so we can get so we can fulfill those parts of ourselves that actually. Is, oh, look at that! I had this out, y'all. That's not cute. I could, this whole outfit was very cute until y'all ain't telling me my thing was hanging. Let me see what somebody told me. I love it. I love it. Ivory Tower. I love that as queen. Good morning. Yes, Ivory. You got to have a name for your home. Good morning. Good morning, Catherine. Yeah, man. Like I, I was so yeah. So you're. You, think, you know, your home, like the whole place is sanctuary. Like, because I'm, it's like, and it, let me tell you, once you give it that name, y'all, the spirit, the energy of that name, right? The frequency of that name, like I said, will start to develop into that where you will do things to treat it like such. Sanctuary, temple. So it's going to mind. This house makes me get smellless. They like incense, scented candles all of the burning stuff whether it's the sage i used to i was not really feeling the sage well now my house loves it i could feel it i feel it the churai which is a senegalese incense a beautiful incense i actually sell it it's not on the website just email me y'all i mean the website for a second just email me it's my retrograde i tend to be yeah it's a different connection i have with the internet so that's um if you want the churai but uh i got i got an aroma lamp or a diffuser i want another one I want one in every unit, you know what I'm saying? Like this idea of sense is very and more and everything natural. Like, okay, find your find your natural uh dishwashing liquid again, find your natural, natural, you know, laundry detergent. So like really to the point that it's moving me even more into um just creating again, like I did from the internet, learning how to make this my own cleaners for my house. There's a if there's a tile cleaner, there's a floor tile cleaner too, or it's the same thing. So I, I wanna I wanna keep this as beautiful as possible and I gotta take care of it. And that's and one of that is sweeping, mopping, and but using the right ingredients and the right so that the, the purity of your space, you know, remains high. The ingredients matter and cleaning matters, but then let's go a step further and talk about what are you cleaning with though, you know. So and it's like it's magic for you. It becomes your altar and you're you're plopped right in the middle of your own altar. That's how it really is anyway. So you're shrined, you're protected, but you can, but you're, you know, in, in our class in the group, the one talking about the now becoming a high priestess, you know, we talk about how does that look a lot? How does a high priestess look in mind in modern days, in everyday life? Like how does that look? Because it's gotta fit into what you which who you are. 
It's got to fit into life itself. It's got to fit into what's happening. So you got to, it's because that's why you're here. You want us to be the modern day goddess. Everything, everything improves. Everything changes. Everything adapts. So even being a priestess or a high priestess, if you have, there's an adaptation to your life. Like, you know, we have to take more time with ourselves because we're constantly changing. Like I said, the mind, the body, that age thing, that maturing, that all oh, that stuff, there's something going on. And it usually changes the way you see your life. And that's why you usually want to change it. It's fine. It makes sense. You got wisdom. You live the low. You're feeling stuff. You never got to do. Really, you got to do it. But your home, this is what I was talking about the group today. Your home is a way to change that energy, to change that frequency, to change that trajectory. It's beautiful. But you got to connect when you connect. You got to be, you know, in the care of it. And the care of it is important as well. So I'm going to go look on the internet. I used to make a tile cleaner. I just don't remember what the ring is. I actually got the video. So I think I got all the stuff. Glass cleaners of my own. And there was a place I used to get this natural dishwashing looking, but they they not they not even existing at this point. They chose me been doing renovation. That was months ago, but hopefully they'll come back. But I'll just Google uh natural dishwashing liquid. I'm sure I'll find it because there's spots out here. They're getting it, you know what I'm saying? They know they got customers from afar that want it. So, but you know what I'm gonna do? Once I get a real, uh, I, oh, you know, I just thought about this, ladies. I'm gonna provide those things. I'm gonna provide those things to the same diasporas I go to, the same stores I go to looking for natural detergent, natural dishwashing liquids, detergents in general, natural, yeah. Those other things, you know, those other eco friendly necessary thing so yeah man yeah so you see my hair you see your girls here your girl done took out the twist now i'm telling you you might not believe me but all of this is locked all of that on there it's just locked it ain't no coming apart it ain't i, I just twisted with the, each other but it's locked so i got a lot that's locked so I, i'm just going to lock i'm just going into the slow version the slow version but i took it out and uh, I love my hair, y'all. I love her. I love her. I love her. Let me just tell her, like, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> I love her. Okay. So anyway, y'all, I'm loving being outside. I'm loving even being on the computer. I love I can sit back. I love that the screen is bigger. I love that you can hear me. Oh, did I show you this outfit? Don't. I think I showed my group. But let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this outfit. I showed it on the video that's coming up. Let me show y'all this cute outfit. All right. So, so at first, so at first, it looks, you know, it's cute, right? It's very cute with the fro. It's very cute, right? Okay. It looks, you know, conservative, right? And then, then you hit them in the back with the open back, see? And the very feminine top. No pockets, though. And the very feminine top. I think it's cute. I love it. And it's in my size, small, small. <laughs> I love it. I love this new thing, y'all. I don't know if this is Ghana or just, this, this, you know, the world, but this little modest look, this little, I can be at the office. <laughs> I can be at the tea party. I can be at Sunday brunch. I can be at a you know, meeting. I can be at an interview. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. And then in the back, it's, all, it's just a little, it's that femininity. That is so much me. It's like the balance between me and me. So even my our fashion tells a lot about where we are in a spiritual sense. And that's a good thing. We want that. <laughs> we want that. We want it to show up in all our lives because it's all of us. We are all of it. It's not separate like, it. oh, I get off work and now I could be spiritual. Like, it shouldn't be like that. <laughs> we all do know that, right? If, we, if it's like that or we accept it, it don't have to, no. No, no, no. So, yeah, the opportunity. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, that's pink. Oh, wait a second. Is that a pink flower or... Did some soap below four on me and make that look pink. Because it looked perfect if it did. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yes, ladies. 
So yeah, I am just, oh, these glasses need to be clean. I am just uh, reflecting, giving things, uh, knowing that spirit knows what you need. Like I must have really needed a balcony that I got six. You know, when I first, I mean, this one, like I got one, but then I got one in the bedroom too. Like, wait a second, come on. Do you know how wonderful for me to wake up every morning and just see outside? and see sky and know I slept with that watching me. So when the moon is shining, she's shining over me like, OMG. Cosmic, just a cosmic experience. Outdoor balconies, that just that indoor outdoor living and you know, the term, but it's a real thing. It's just so me, it's just so Leo. It's just so me, so I love it. I love it, so I feel like my clothes are reflecting of that person. I am the boss, I am the grown woman, you know what I'm saying? But I'm also a, a woman and I'm also feminine, I'm also divine. And <sighs> so I just, I'm loving the, the, the role and uh, the flow. I hope you are too. So let's go, Catherine, so Queen, Rob, Latoya, hey, I agree, Queen. I set my home up like a spa when I moved in. That's right. People enjoy coming to relax and it's calming. That's right. Beautiful. I like your hair. Thank you. Hey, Camila Dawn Ali, Peace Queen, agree. Our home is our retreat. We run our businesses in the lower level. That's very, very good. Very good, Camila. You know, you sit down there. Yes, naturally. Peace. If you are interested in the Senegalese incense or any other Afrocentric goodness, email afrocentrichomedesign at gmail.com, y'all. Or you can go to the website at afrocentrichomedesign.com. And also you can cash app at La Rosa Negra 67. And naturally, my moderator has got it inside this chat. And hey, General Mosquito, how are you? Yes, honey, them homes, them homes, them homes is magical. Their homes can change the direction. Them, them homes can get you another one. That's where your power. But every time you go into one, look at it and, and see what it's saying for you. What magic does it have for you? It's here for you. So, and it knows and it's wanting to give you something for the next junction in your life, the next place in your life. So you, it's all for you. It's medicine. Every home has its own medicine. You just got to know how to receive it. Be like, okay, you gave me two decks. No, you really, I got six. So. Okay, you, I'm, I, I need to be outside. And then you realize, oh, wow, but that's so on. Because I'm, it's not some things you think are needs. Some things you think are wants. But some things are both and all of it. A lot of this, if your spirit calls anything to you, it might be your medicine. And to say, well, that's not necessary, or I could do it out there, and you really can't, is detrimental to you. You might really need a bathtub. I used to think that I really need a bathtub. I don't feel that I really need that now, but there's other things I really need, I will say. And you will, but you always, you go to a place and if they say they have a bathtub, you like everything else about that place, you take the place. Instead of just sticking to that, that you need the bathtub. And then years down the line, you realize that you develop something. But when you were taking your baths, you didn't. Some things are medicine, you need it. So don't, don't, don't compromise on those things. For me, what I realized that I'll have to always have in order to be the way I'm feeling, and this is a familiar feel. So this is definitely helping with some aspect of myself, is I need to have outdoor spaces and indoors. Indoor, outdoor spaces, I need it. I need it. Because especially for me being in the city, and at, these, at this point in my life, don't know if that'll change, I prefer cities. At this point, never thought I would ever say these things, but this is what I'm saying. I'm rolling with the bus. I'm rolling with how I come, and I prefer the city for many reasons, and business is definitely one, but others. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, I'm going to, I got to, I got to make it work. I got to still be outside, though, even though I love cities. You know what I'm saying? People leave cities to go to natural spaces. I needed to create those spaces where I was. So for the whole apartment, is dedicated to the space. It's, I mean, I've never been able to do that. No, the whole apartment, <laughs> you know, no computer. I mean, you can have your computer, but no work, no work. Like if I send an email, I've been trying to run downstairs. I'm gonna get better at it. Like work is for the office. This is a sacred space. Your office is a sacred workspace. It is, and that's what you should treat it as. But this space, and I, be, I believe too, that it becomes more powerful 
as you start to treat it in that way, as you start to respect it, and as you talk, because you're charging it, right? You're charging, imbuing that what you want this medicine to do. You need this all medicine. Medicine is not just when you're sick. Medicine is to prevent you from getting sick too. Don't forget that. Medicine is your friend, it is your ancestors, it's sacred, it speaks to you. It, it, I mean, it's, it, and medicine is aromatherapy or taking, do more, cleaning your hair, certain herbs or sitting on a balcony outside. <laughs> sitting on the balcony outside your apartment on Sunday where it's relatively quiet, relatively, but you're still in the city. Like, it's cool. It's cool. So, like, know what you need. Like, and what you might have need, you might have had it before and forgot. When you go back to those things you're going to do for yourself, those things you're going to buy yourself, remember that things that make you feel mentally happy. <laughs> you know? It's not a small thing, sorry, deck, sun, sun facing sun, you know, apartment facing, like you better know. Like where you want that, where you want that sun to hit, like where you want to be positioned and all that. Like seriously. And you don't even have to really visualize it and ask for it, although you should never do the opposite of that. You should but you should not have to. You just have to what we're learning to do in the intensive, you never to intensive, you should, uh, is to sit down long enough. Sitting down is planting, cleaning your house, you know, checking for the chi, doing creative endeavors, all of that, being within yourself, not worried about someone else, not worried about how someone else is doing, respond, nothing. Just that will for sure uh, bring you clarity, answers, but basically magic. But you won't have to quit the person, you won't have to, you won't have to leave the job, you won't have to, you know, not move, you won't have to move, or whatever it is, you will be able to just be placed in whatever that thing that you truly want, the universe knows. But if you get quiet and start trying to solve it or, or you, know, you know, solutions, especially teachers like Google's, ooh, we be really trying to analyze our own life. It don't be the best thing for us because we not that good at it. And I mean, nobody probably is that good at it. That's why we pay people like myself your pay or others, I pay. I mean, it makes sense. But being quiet, a woman quiet, a quiet woman, that's a powerful woman right there. The quiet ones, you being, you getting quiet. But nothing, that's not to worry, it's just an inner and maybe a physical quietness. It's what you're going to defy is going to come out of all the things that you'll be able to do. Things that your hobbies, talents, you know, interest that you're going to pick up, like being quiet, knowing you don't know, stop reacting the same way, find other things that you can use that power with. So mine will be on balconies, in apartments, and beautifying y'all. They, um, they, I won't say that the boutique is like almost ready. No, 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 no. But every single thing that I brought from the last apartment to, to put into that apartment or to put into that boutique downstairs, I got everything this is the suitcases, but it's just extra fabric, and we'll see how I can use that. But everything has a place, and I'm loving that. So now I can now bring in the things that go with the space, the things that I'm going to need for it to sell and for it to be a boutique. I thought I saw my favorite. I thought I saw the perfect couch yesterday. I want a sectional. I'm looking for a sectional. And a sectional, the one I saw, you know, it's the sectional and that side piece has the, uh, it's like the chaise lounge. I mean, that could be cool. Or it could just be more like a section of where that's there. They could sit there too. That could be cool. I loved it anyway. It was orange too, y'all, because I think we needed some orange to play off. It's a lot of beauty going on in there. I figured out how to, uh, so the orange counts would go with all the kente, you know. I really want that in there. But the price was a little high for here. And I sat on the couch. It felt like freaking bricks. It felt like bricks. Like, <laughs> it's like, this is not comfortable. It wasn't comfortable at all, okay? No. Wasn't comfortable, but I'm getting closer because now everything's in its place. I cleaned up each room. When I go in, I sweep. Like I tell you, if you got multiple properties, you rather have somebody in it than not just not maybe not anybody. I'm saying, but the, it'll get danky because the doors is not opening back and forth, so it'll feel hot or 
it's like thank you, like a wet smell because it just doesn't have the windows are not being open. You're not breathing out. Your life life is not happening in those places, and life needs to happen in a house in order for it to be a home. And you see it. So I gotta make sure I, I downstairs. I spend daily time, but I gotta make sure I spend time daily time upstairs. And says like even get some beds in there so I can sleep in one. Like wake up in the morning and use the kitchen. Like this is the house match we're talking about. And that's what brings it to life. But as you're in these spaces, see what you want or desire for the space and see that life in that space. That space is for that. So I see people and guests and being very happy, enjoying themselves, enjoying the view, enjoying that they're still really in, they're still in a community too. When you stay here, you stay into a community. I mean, that's that's auntie, that's mommy, that's, it's real. Everybody is themselves. We are in a part of a community. It's just a lot nicer than the one that I, uh, you know, was living in. And um, but you're still in the community. You got a lot of access, like I said, to different stores and the mall and your money. It's it's nice. It's nice. But I want to make sure, like I, yeah, like I was, I'm, I'm looking forward to guests coming. So if you are thinking about coming to Ghana and you're looking for a place to stay, you should email me at Afrocentric Home Design uh, at gmail.com. And, and yeah, because it's three beautiful bedrooms, three baths. It's beautiful. Two balconies, two decks, that, and you're on the highest floor, so you got the best views. Got the best views, okay? It's lovely. It's lovely. This whole I like my outfit reflects the new house. The hair reflects the new, the new movement we got going on. The computer. I'm thinking about definitely getting a new phone, and I need a new laptop so I can do stuff like this, but with a sharper, more beautiful picture. You know. So yeah, y'all, I'm all up in these homes. But when you are called to home, now if you home on a numerology level, it's represented by the number six, number six. So the boutique adds up to a number six. Yeah, it's a six. So it's about very pretty. You put time into it. People want to come to it. A very creative space. People and they are creative a home, like people want to go and don't want to leave, as someone said about their space, that, that right there, Latoya, about the spots right here, whatever it is, that number six, that number six tells, so if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing in any particular space, including your job, look at the, the door number of the of your office, if you have one, or the building that the office is in, but it will tell you, it will be like, so that one at 15 was the, I feel like it was in the worst condition, still got electrical stuff that I got to fix and, or they got to fix, you know? And, and I'm like, create why? There's, there's a new bill. Like, why am I, why, why I don't feel like, why I feel like an old bill, like with this. And Spirit was like, because this one, you make a house a home. You don't receive it that way. You make it that way. You create it to be that way. That's not how it comes. It just comes a house. So we're going to put a six on this. So you understand that the concentration is to make this into something that you couldn't even see when you first walked in, like a lodger. And it turned into what it normally and naturally is going to be anyway. That's the other beautiful part of this thing. It's like, you know, the house speaks to you. The house be like telling you what it needs. But don't get it confused with this got to go with that. Sometimes they speak to you separately. That got something to say. And the bedroom got something to say, and the living room got something to say, but they it ain't all saying it together, and they not really thinking about the other things, the other room when they talking about their room. And concentrate, make sure you stay focused on aspects of yourself, because that's what all this is, aspects of me, and I love it. So, but yeah, y'all should come if you got one. If you are coming to Ghana, let me like put it out there because I don't think I do that enough. If you are going coming to Ghana, you do have to stay somewhere don't have friends or you don't have family and you would stay at another place like especially if you like guest houses we we'll talk about that so they're blurry especially if you like guest houses that feel or what really you call airbnbs or bed and breakfast type of vibes where you are in a community but it's a very safe community this one like i said has access to a lot um the more where i go to go go to the atms to find stuff that may be a little specialty items like a shop right or a game there's also a helpful store in the mall that sells all your nuts, your seeds, uh, your olive oils, your, your, well, you won't find 
almost anywhere here. And the coconut oil is a nice place. Um, there's a fun store I like to go to in there. Uh, it's, it's nice. And it's all the ATMs that are, of course, you know, that you use internationally, um, meaning the apps, uh, the, the banks here, but they're great. And the service is great and it's reputable. And us walking, you can find fruits and vegetables everywhere. And has 24 hour security. I mean, security is here, even though the building's not all built. So it's a great place. It's a great place. And uh, and I, when I get up there, like it's, I'm really going to bring, I want to keep that vibe so it will always attract the right people. I have a feeling it's going to be like that. It's going to be magical for all of us. It's going to be like walking into like the twilight zone in a way. Like when you enter into that space, you're about to be transformed and changed. So it's so number four. Number four is about work, 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 work. But that's a house because that's going to be the retreat spot where the work you will be doing will be on yourself. I could feel like because the, the fact that it's a number four says that it really is lends itself to people who want to travel, of course, and stay somewhere. But they also, a lot of us travel to get away from everything. A lot of us travel as retreats. Some of us travel when it's going to be quiet. So when they get back to everything, they feel like they can come back to it in a different frame of mind. So I, I can feel how number four, that makes sense that the work will be on yourself. So it's a healing space. Uh, and it's a uh, retreat. Um, it's a rescue. It's a. It's a. There's a name that I'm looking for, but it's for that. It's a going in within spot. You know what I'm saying? So because it's a four, you do you do you work and you do the work. But it's airy and it's it's beautiful views and it reminds you just to live the life you want the way you want it. It's the best of both worlds. That's what I like, because that's me. Like, I am so, like, loving, need to be around a certain amount of Ghanaians in a day. Like, I do. I need to have the whole, at least the conversation around me if I don't know it all, you know? Um, but I also am Black American, and to have Black American friends, too, and people that you know and have things in common with, that's also kind of important out here as well. Or you can say marrying the, the modern type of building with, you know, the dirt road, right? Like all of it is good. It's all me, but um, it's a balance and I, I need that balance and I feel like where I live is a perfect balance. You know, this is why I hesitated. When I'm in Accra, you always hear talking and you always hear languages and you always hear lots of different languages. But here, I'm not sure the people that's mostly here, but I don't hear a lot of that talking, a lot of languages or talking. So it's just a different vibration. And I like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be good. And it's going to be real good when, you know, they really hook up the grounds and have the parking lot space over not too far. And it's going to be beautiful just for tenants only. We're going to start a block association, a tenants association. We want to do a neighborhood association, however you call it. Yeah, we're going to plant some plants on the side, and I'm about it. I never knew I was about this life, but I'm about it. I'm ready for it. Yes, let's go back. Naturally Clever uh, says, Lit Latoya Edwards. Lolo says, Grand Awakening on Grand Awakening. Lolo says, Peace and blessings to you, too. The home of your hair has grown and looks gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It is doing this thing. I was like, wow, it's just true. Just leave it alone and then mess with it when you're ready because I, I needed to come out the raps. I give thanks for them raps because I've been rapping my hair, I think, for eight months. So the raps got me through. The raps got me through. And then I got to a point I was like, oh, I want to see it. So now when people ask me all the time what I do in my hair, I'm not, my thumb is locked and been locked, so I'm not pulling those locks apart. I'm not. So I'll just two-strand twist the lock with a lock. Or I'll two strand twist the lock with a straight hair. So, but I'm not combing my hair. I'm barely finger detangling. Like, really, I'm not. So, I, I just go and do the if you don't comb it method, it'll lock. And if it don't all, then that's okay too. Like, I'm gonna let it do what it do. But I wanna have fun in it. Like, I've learned something. Like, my hair teaches me a lot. What my hair teaches me is the other reflection of you, by the way. It teaches me that. I am creative and I will change that 
my hair is, a, is like a canvas too. It's a way for me to express myself. So I'm gonna have to be able, whatever style, if you will, that I decide to get, I need to make sure that it can be flexible because I'm gonna change. Like I just like, this This is like being real with myself. I was like, dang girl, you gonna change. I was telling somebody, let me tell you the type of person I am. Maybe this is you. I don't know what this is about, but let's talk about it. Um, so if somebody says, you wanna go to this event and it's two weeks away and I say yes, you should really check on me because that was two weeks ago. I was feeling the vibe at that point. But by that time, I don't got a thousand other invitations or a thousand other things that I could be doing because life has happened in two weeks. And I usually, I probably don't go to that original thing. Like I got to be like, it's Wednesday and the event is Thursday, Friday. Well, Friday, Saturday, like it's got to be two days from here or something. It got to be two days. About two to three days after that, I can't commit. Okay. I cannot commit. It's too much happened that made I made some things happen and made some other things happen. And now I can't do it because I'm stuck with this date that didn't even happen that I can't even go to. No, I don't do it well. I forgot that because I started doing that here. And I was like, wait, I can't do that. And I can't do that either because I'm doing this other thing, you know, like. So yeah, so I, I yeah, do you know who you are? Like, <laughs> do you know who you are? So I'm uh, I'm wanting to use my time in doing the things that I love. There is this thing coming up, y'all. It's like a day, one day retreat, and it's gonna be in a, a waterfall. I don't know where, but you know I love the waterfalls, and it's going to be a medicinal, a medicine uh, retreat in Ghana. Yes, and this sister that's from Egyptian, Egyptian sister that's married to a Black American brother, they invited me. Uh, they are diasporans, and well, you know, it's not their trip per se. They're going, and I'm going to go because it sounds heavenly. I'm going to go through and pick all these and know about all this medicine and bring all that stuff home. So I'm going to be with the trees, the plants, and we're going to be in some healing waterfall, they say. I'm saving all my money for this, okay? This is what I want to do, you know? So I'm just I'm just going for what turns me on. If, it, if I really don't want to do something, especially as I age, I was kind of like this already, but now it's more intense. I really have to let people know that. You know, a lot of times too, I um, mm, I think when you're on a task, you have to stay on it. Hey, profound, not. But I'm just saying, like, I think, you know, I feel like every time I'm, I'm, you're called to go out, it's, a, it's probably a spiritual experience. So you're going to only be called, so that means you're not going to be called to everything because it's spiritual that you don't get called to certain things too. That's spiritual too. It wasn't meant to be. Thank goodness you did. It wasn't your time. Da, 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 da. So it's like I don't like to waste a lot of time. You probably know I said that before. So I do my best to be true to myself so that I don't even say yes to events that I know that normally, that I'm not nowhere at all interested in that thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, but, but also making sure that I do the things that I really want to do. So, yeah, honey, it's plant medicine. I wish I could tell you what it's called, but it's a one-day retreat, and I'm going. What part of it? I got to, we're going to meet in Adenta. But that's not where we're going to the waterfalls. I don't know where, but we're going to come back and go at the same day. So it's not that far. I'm so excited. Them plants is calling me. Them plants is calling me. Plant medicine. It's the bomb. You should all have some. Let's see. Uh, Grand Rising DD. Nathalie says, right. Yeah, man. So it's quiet, y'all, and it's a beautiful day, and I've been eating fruits and drinking lots of water. I got to drink more water. I eat a lot of fruit. This house is another thing. This house is a very fruit-wanting house. Like, I don't remember eating this much fruit the way I eat fruit here in this house, but every every direction, every space has a, a medicine, certain things that it will make you do so that because it's the, it's, the, it's the house medicine saying you need more fruits living here for whatever reason, it could be from the bugs, from the different levels of pollution. There's always going to be the cause and effect found in the same place. It has to be. 
one cause the other. They 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 close. So it's like I just go with it. I gotta have many more fruits, and I'm noticing that. I don't know. I always want to blend. I know it's noticing something. I never noticed just just, just to talking to y'all. I eat the fruits in this whole state now. I don't have to blend the everything. I, I really blend. I mean, I'm gonna blend today. It's gonna be nice, but I actually eat the food. And so there's a lot of water content uh, in the food. So I don't drink the lots of lot more plastic standing water. First of all, I feel the bottle is starting to feel weird to me, you know. So I do something else with the water anyway, but I, I can get water delivered, so I'll do that. But yeah, anyway, it just it, it calls for something else. It's nice to know you are not built and to stay the same. Like that's a good thing. Like you gotta know that. Like you want to change, you wanna grow, and you wanna know about yourself. Know thyself. That's it. Know thyself. All right, lady queens. Thank you so much for being on the chat. 30 people, 18 thumbs up. I appreciate y'all. Hope you have fun being outside. Hope you had a good time. But I'm going to sign over and out because I want now, though, that I talked about it, I want a nice smoothie. So I'm going to go get a smoothie and I'm going to go home back into the other part of the sanctuary. Maybe I'll just stay out here. Maybe I'll write some poetry, sip on some hibiscus. Just feel, just feel the breeze <sighs> and go within. I love you, queens. I'll see you beautiful ladies in the next one. Okay, I always got to figure out how to end this. Okay, end stream. Blessings. Let's see. Uh, greetings, sis. Hey, Maha. Oh, you are looking beautiful. The retreat sounds so amazing. Is this the one with Dr. Cosmos Larvey, the waterfall? Yes, yes, that's the one. That's the one. Yes, Dr. Yes, the, yes. The, oh, the waterfall uh, cleansing excursion. Yes, sis, are you there? Are you here? Are you going? Like, I'm going. I'm going on that. I'm going. I will be there. I think it's next Sunday or Saturday. I don't know, but I'm about to go find out. Yes, sis. If you know information or things I need to know, email me, afrocentrichomedesign uh, at gmail.com. Yes, that's the one. I'm looking forward. That's me all day. That's that's me all day. All day. Okay, definitely. Please do. Oh, yeah. Okay. I felt it. Somebody sent that fly and I was like, yo. Yo. I'm about to go do this over here with these folks over here. Like, I've never heard of them, but I, it, it called me. I'm about to call. Let me, let me put my call on them because I think if you... You can get an early bird special, which is not that much, and I'm not tripping on that. I will pay this money. All right, ladies. Now I'll go. Thank you so much. Thank you, Natalie, for putting my email down there. I appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. And I'll see you on the next one. Love you. Blessings.